Lee McDougall ist bei uns zu Gast und ist ein Sänger aus England. Ähm, der spricht auch ein wenig Deutsch, deswegen er versteht eigentlich alles, was ich sage. Aber we're going to speak in English because it will make it much more relaxed, I would okay. say. Um, even though you are moving to Berlin next year in February, so you have to learn a little bit of German mm -hmm. to be able to get around. Um, you grew up in a place called Grimsey, is that right? Grimsby. Grimsby, and uh, you moved to London. You now live in Vienna, and you're going to be moving to Berlin. It's kind of a, a long, uh, or a lot of places to be yeah, in a short like, period of time. But like joining the circus. <laughs> it's true. Um, and I, I think it was quite interesting the way you decided to, to, or why you decided to go to London, at least what it says on the internet. Um, you worked uh, in a fish factory, and yes. one day somebody stole your shoes, <laughs> and you had to walk home barefoot, and you decided, I want to get out of here. I, I don't want to have anything to do with this. Um, but what does that have to do musically? Did you sing when you were at the fish factory for your colleagues, or did you, and did you know back then that you actually wanted to become a musician? Yeah, I wanted to be a singer, but coming from such a small town, it was just a dream, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what happens to people in movies and in Hollywood. Um, but I, I, I saved up some money and bought a little four-track tape recorder and just used to dream of being a musician, really, and um, following my favorite bands. And it was never known to be possible for somebody from such a small place. Um, but, yeah, it's a true story. Somebody stole my shoes and um, I thought, oh, I can't do this any longer, you know. I'm not getting paid enough to walk home in the rain with no shoes on. Mm -hmm. so. Did you ever thank him for for stealing your shoes? Or did I, you don't, ever... I don't know who it was. No? got no idea, but yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> also, er kommt aus einer Stadt in, in England namens Grimsby und hat da damals in einer Fischfabrik gearbeitet oder auch arbeiten müssen, weil eigentlich wurde er Musiker sein, aber gedacht, so einen Traum kann man sich nicht erfüllen, ähm, wenn man aus so einer kleinen Stadt kommt. Das ist eigentlich etwas, was in den Filmen passiert. Eines Tages hat aber jemand seine Schuhe gestohlen und er musste im Regen barfuß nach Hause laufen und hat gesagt, auf diesen Scheiß, ganz ehrlich gesagt, verzichte ich und werde jetzt einfach mal Musik machen und werde nach London ziehen. Do you remember um, how hard it was to find a place to stay in London after moving from Grimsby? Because I can imagine uh, there are places to live in Grimsby that are not quite as expensive as in London and it must have been hard as someone without not, not much money and, and not having you know too many places to play and stuff like that. How was it when you moved there? The it, first was, time? it was nearly impossible, actually. Really? <laughs> um, because, yeah, the rent's so high, mm. it's such a big city and I had no friends there and uh, it seemed impossible from the beginning the only person I knew was a, f a friend of mine her 82 year old grandmother had a small flat in uh, just near Earl's Court mm -hmm. and um, so I lived in a little room at the top of her house um, for like a month and ev every day I'd go home and have dinner with uh, this 82 year old lady named Elsie Oh, really? Who is now 92 and uh, still living in the same place. Um, did you ever play any songs for her? And what did she say about your music? Um, I think because I was a bit scruffy looking and, you know, I think she thought I was a bit of a sex pistol or something. And, <laughs> you know, that wasn't her thing. She was, um, yeah, she was into jazz and classical music. and But she liked me. She cooked me meals every day. And, um, yeah, she was very nice. Also als er nach London gezogen ist, war es natürlich schwer, eine Wohnung zu finden, denn die Mieten in London sind sehr horrend. Und da hat er bei ähm, der Großmutter von der Freundin gewohnt, die 82 äh, ist, und, und also damals war, jetzt 92. Und das war in der Nähe von Earl's Court, hat er eine kleine Wohnung, äh, ein kleines Zimmer gehabt. Und sie hat ihn, jeden Abend für ihn gekocht und ähm, hat aber allerdings musikalisch ihn nicht weitergebracht, weil sie eher Jazz gehört hat. You have been influenced by uh, bands like The Kings or The Beatles. Um, How much do you think they are still part of your music? Because you have been making music for a long time now. Do they, are they still, do you, do they still reflect in the stuff that you do and, and how you perform on stage? It's more in the, in the songwriting, really. But it, to me, they're just, they're the bands that inspire me to make music. It's not particularly that I copy them or mm. sound like them. Mm -mm. But those were the bands that made me want to pick up a guitar and start writing songs, you know. And I don't think those bands will ever die. Because that in the 60s, that was when music first kicked into life, I think. And, you know, I'm sure Justin Bieber won't be around in a few years. But Who? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but in the year 2054, they're still going to be talking about the Beatles and the Kinks. And, and hopefully more 12-year-olds will be playing guitar and copying them as well. I know. think um, a lot of people are, are, it's changing right now. People yeah. have to be able to play their instrument and perform on stage, especially because um, people can download all the music and you have to go on tour to be able to sell yourself and sell the music. I think that's funny that it's changing now. You have to be able to play your own instrument. It's I know, like but 
It's it's true, but I think yeah. in the nineties um, or eighties yeah, and nineties, yeah. people really didn't have to play anything. All they had to do is turn on a keyboard. I was and born of... too late. <laughs> well, no, you're in the right place right now. It's perfect. Um, yes. You're going to be performing a couple of songs from the album that's going to be coming out next April. But you did bring your EP, which is called the Stay EP, and the song Stay is also on it. We're going to be watching the video in a couple of minutes. Um, but maybe you can tell me about what Stay is all about. Stay, I guess uh, it's. It's probably the most boring song on the album because it's just a love song. But ju- and nothing can be just a love song. Yeah, but, <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it's about losing somebody and wanting them to stay. Um, yeah, the, some somebody, someone I know thinks it's about them, but it's it's not about them. It was, really? Yeah, it was about somebody else. So I guess it's kind of got a, a little twist in there, but... I can't really divulge any more than that. Oh, you should, though. It's <laughs> getting very interesting. <laughs> so the, so you wrote the songs. The person who thought it, it was about that the person contacted you and said, why did you write that song? And you had to say it wasn't about you? Or is that kind of how it... I'm sure when she hears it, she thinks it's about her, but, yeah. Uh, it's not, or maybe it is. Maybe we'll never know. Maybe you'll never know. <laughs> aha, aha. Also, Stay is auf seiner EP drauf. Um, und das wird auch auf dem Album drauf sein, was im April rauskommt. Um, Stay ist über eine Liebe, die nicht mehr funktioniert. Und es gibt wohl eine Frau, die denkt, es handelt von ihr, aber er sagt, es handelt nicht von ihr oder vielleicht auch doch. Ich glaube, wir werden da nie richtig aufgeklärt werden. Where did you film the video? Filmed it in Vienna, actually, mm-hmm. and in Brighton. In and in Brighton. South England, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, both completely different places. Where do you uh, where where do you like to spend your time more? I mean, you live in Vienna right now, but yeah, Brighton was just a day trip oh, okay. for the beach, uh, for the melancholy beach scenes. And how did you end up in Vienna, Vienna anyway? I met a girl. Ah. As you do. Ah, and I think uh, okay. I think I probably shouldn't go any further with these questions. <laughs> we're going to watch the, the video and we're going to hear you play some songs in a couple of minutes. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you very and much. um you've heard it's Lee McDougall den Song Stay. Und ihr seht es natürlich auch das Video, was in Wien und in Brighton gefilmt worden ist. Und nach Wien ist er gezogen wegen einer Frau. Weiter frage ich nicht. Jetzt erstmal Stay für euch.